Hi everyone, it is Shy Town Tracy with Art Attack. Sorry, I just decided to drink some water. Um, I'm here to show you some things that, um, some projects that I've been doing. There's a fly in here, I just test flies. Um, that I've been doing. Um, I'm sorry, I just saw my wrinkled, sh my wrinkled shirt there. <laughs> It totally threw me off. Don't look at my shirt. But anyway, these are some projects that I've been doing um, for a couple of Valentine's Day swaps that I'm in um, for a couple, couple different groups. Um, I'm not going to mention the group. I'll just put it in the description because I am going to put these on YouTube and, and, and post them to the group. So they don't usually like you to talk about other groups within, you know, in their group, which kind of makes sense. But anyway, um, these are the french fry oops that's a big thing of glue here the french fry boxes from christmas time looked like this um i got them you know when they were marked down and um i used it as one of my treat boxes and i didn't use any paper from this year's collections because i had um still a bunch so I'm not exactly sure what collection this is from, but I did use the, the Hobby Lobby Vintage Amore because I still have quite a bit of that left. Um, so I used that and I wanted to use my, um, my dies, my, my doohickey magnolia dies. So this is a, a magnolia die underneath here and this is from the Ooh La La collection here. It's just a, a really pretty heart. And this is the stamp from Michaels, the new one. Um, and this, it, these are just some glitter hearts, probably from the dollar store. And this is from Target, the their section. And what I did was, um, I just put together a few goodies in here. I'll show you one because I think this is so cute. I probably should put some Velcro on it to make it sit down. But um, I saw this on Pinterest and I made it. It's so cute. They're made out of felt, so they're felt envelopes. I'll probably put a little Velcro here and here. And then I just filled them with little hearts, you know, just with different hearts. So it's a little envelope of hearts. Very easy, very cute. Um, and then I just made some of these hearts here with, um, this is a Sizzix I saw this on Pinterest too. This is a Sizzix um, die, and I just did half of the it. You can see I miscalculated on. Well, it didn't matter, but and then I used um, an EK punch. That I think it, I don't know if it's Martha or EK, but this punch. And then I just put a couple bows on them. Just really cute little embellishments. Um, and then you know, I got this idea from. Um, Natalie who's put some bling on it she made one of these for me and they're just the EK success mason jar punch on on a uh, paper clips and then I just made some envelopes and uh, some little cards in there just really plain cards and then I took something that I got at Michael's and just put a little cover over it and a little heart and then I just love these straws um, I have red straws, so I don't know where. I know some of these are. I know Michael has, has some of the the um, pastels, but I got the pastel is from Michael's. The darker pink is from Hobby, and the red I think is from Michael's, but not the dollar section, the Valentine section, I think. So I just put some tulle on it and a little heart and put it in there. Um, this will go in here. So these are just a few little embellishments some flowers and then my little envelope so let me just put that to the side so that's one and then I made another one and this one um, is the Dorley's from uh, Michael's and then I cut this out with this is that new paper by Heidi Swap swipe why do i want to always mispronounce her name how do you swipe how do you swap how do you swap and um it's just really thin gold it's really pretty paper and then i made this little arrow with um one of those red straws and this a felt 
this is a felt um, heart that I got. It's like a conversation heart that I got um, from Michael's this year. And then I just put the glitter hearts over it. And this is just some um, trim. I think it's really cute. So let me put that down. And then these are the milk cartons also from Christmas. And I used the Tim Holtz Rosette die. And again, I used my punch, my, I think it's, oh, it's a heart doily punch. And then I used a felt heart and put some glitter on it. And then one of these shiny hearts. Um, these I got heavy Valentine's day from the, um, Valentine's section at Michael's and just some gingham red ribbon and some hugs and kisses ribbon that I had in my stash. And I made this one as well. Again, that's the other size rosette that you get in the Tim Holtz. And I don't know where I got these. It's so cute though. And then the little heart doily. And there's some chocolates in there. And then I made, um, this is a matchbox from the dollar store and I covered it with a vintage or more and this is a Tim Holtz die. Um, actually this is not a Tim Holtz die. This is made freehand. Um, but this is a Tim Holtz die with um, glitter hearts and then I just spray painted a, I spray painted a few buttons gold since gold is really in right now. I actually spray painted the inside of the box as well gold <laughs> and then I took one of the pieces that I got from Alicia's um, Glitz and More her store and I used a Tim Holtz I love these brads from Tim Holtz with the ones with the little hooks and I added just a couple little danglies I think I'm gonna put um, I don't know what I'm gonna put inside And then this is one of the boxes from the dollar store. Um, I don't think I have one, but they were just kind of brightly colored and stuff. So I um, took it apart and put some vintage and more over it. I tried to make it look very vintage, which I'm not very good at doing the gesso. I think I got the wrong gesso this time though. It said acrylic gesso and it was really thin. So I'm, I don't really like that. But anyway, so I used a little bit of gesso, the vintage photo all the way around, different papers, um, some velvet ribbon, and the inside is done as well. And it already came with the, the Velcro, so I just put it back on. I made a double ribbon up here with the, Velcro, with the velvet ribbon and then the gingham and add a little key, heart key. And these are some flowers from my stash. Just really basic and sweet. And then I created three cards. I've been dying to use this stamp. This is a Magnolia stamp Sagittarius that I have in my store. I've been dying to use her. So I colored her up and made three cards. I had a little assembly line going today. My cards are very um, plain. I, I, I'm, not, I'm new to making cards and, you know, I always say that. But I do like the soft colors. I'm, you know, not typical. Well, I don't have any. I only have like three red and I don't really like them. Um, and I have a hard time with the reds bleeding, so I didn't even attempt it. But you can see I these are the um, pearls from the, you know, dollar or two dollar section at Michael's. And I got I got these hearts last year. I don't know. I really like them. They're layered and some seam binding and then those little bingo cards and then the I just kind of these are from um, like I said recollections and I just cut off the little tab but I colored up her skirt I use a lot of stickles I'm a stickles kind of girl but I think she's really sweet that's said I didn't go over it with my heat gun yet <laughs> That's a Sagittarius tilde. And then this one. So again, a little some flowers from my stash, a little glitter heart, a little some sequins from my stash, a little glittered, gl glittered heart there. I love this stamp. And one more. 
This one um, I actually embossed. I always forget about embossing, so I embossed some paper and colored it up, used a little doily, added some flowers and some stickles to the flowers. The inside I didn't really do much with, and um, I stamped it with in dreams there are in dreams and in dreams and in love there are no impossibilities. So just basic cards. But that is for a swap that I'm doing. And this is for another swap that I'm doing. I'm not exactly sure if I'm finished. I probably am because I am not an over embellisher. Um, I'm probably an under embellisher. I was thinking about adding a couple flowers here. But this is for the swap over in my art, my art attack, my Tilda group, which is Art Attack and Tilda Friends. Amador is hosting a tag swap and this is one of my tags and they'll all be the same and you can see I use a doohickey die with the Heidi, Heidi swap um, uh, that glitter paper which I love and this is just a another paper I had in my stash I believe that's from Hobby Lobby in the single you where you buy the single sheets and this is just a little ticket I made with my Tim Holtz ticket maker and it is the first edition papers from the UK I love those papers um, Tanya Whalen designed some of those papers and they're just beautiful and um, same binding bow and this trim is awesome and this trim is from Julian's I love it it's not cheap though not cheap at all I don't buy a lot of trims and that's like I bought it half off and it was like I think it's five forty nine dollars full price and then whatever. I got it used a 50% off coupon. But anyway, those are my, um, I'll show you one more time, my little treat boxes. I really like this. This is so cute. And this one. I hope my partners like them. I never know how much to do you know sometimes you go overboard and sometimes you don't and I never know how much so I I don't know we'll see I hope I'm giving enough I hate to get something and it's more than I gave but then again I hate to give more than I get now I like it to be you know well rounded out but anyway thanks for watching I hope you like my projects and if you have any questions um or any comments, let me know and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.